have the dynamic duo from Michigan being Dyson Suspect, two of the, you know, the, the new gen of Minnesota players teaming together four doubles today. Yeah. Two Michigan superstars against a team up from some of Midwest best. I mean, it's going to be great. Winner's finals sitting here. Winner moves on to Grands. I mean, looking at losers, too, they're really, there's like, I think three other teams that are real, real contenders sitting in losers. You got D Money, Kilogram Hours, maybe a little cheese with the heavies. They can be out there doing the incident or revenge tactic. Yeah, oh yeah. my God, yeah. That can kind of just kill a team. I mean, you got Sir Dink, Raven King, going up against Cypher, Ice Knight. You had some hitters and losers right now. So I would say getting that extra set right now is a lot. It's a lot on the line right now. You want to walk away with a one-way ticket to Grand Finals. And speaking of Incineroar, Suspect, typically known as a Kazuya player in singles, is using that Incineroar in doubles. A character that can rack up a lot of damage and hang around for a while. Yeah, and he's also been warming up that instant. I know because I was sitting at a setup. He walks up to me and says, hey, want to hop on? <laughs> We've played some instant. He kind of kicked my ass a little bit, but that's all right. So, you know, he's prepping the instant. He, I think they're fully in on the strategy, so don't expect any character switch and shenanigans here. And so far, red team taking an absolute wallop to start this set. Already in the red themselves for percentage. This 30 seconds in, and there goes Comet oh. flying off the screen from that revenge. Oh, whoa, and whip. That just absolutely hammering them right now. Loaf and Comet just can't really get in, can't really start any of their combo strings. I mean, you're sitting here, you got the Fox, you got the War, you kind of need to hit something. You can't just keep getting dominated like this. And this is a team usually that gets off hot and stays hot, Like, and yeah. they have those follow-ups on deck. Like that jab into up smash, you're not going to see a lot of that from Dice Suspect as much. Like they don't, from my walk your ear, they're not as polished in that regard of a double. They're both very good players, and they have those instincts, yeah. but they don't have that team experience that the red team does. Yeah, there was a great team up edge guard there from the blue team. Honestly, Dice and Suspect being in region together, they might have a lot of team chemistry working together here. I mean, honestly, they've just been hitting more combos. Just, I don't even know what to say, man. Yeah. I'm seeing some crazy shit from blue team right now. Absolutely. But there we go. Responding back is common on the red team getting that up smash. They are down quite a bit in this game one. Not anything that they can't break, bring, bring back with those team follow-ups, though. They just got to... Try to keep Loaf healthy just a little longer here. Yeah, I Loaf just needs to hold on to this sock right now. He can't be doing stuff like that. He's in a difficult situation off ledge right now. Kama's got to come in with the save here, but no! Loaf still just sitting off ledge. He's not been able to get back into the fight for a while now. Just such good stage control from Blue Team coming out in this game one. Like, you saw them hugging both ledges and just making sure that Loaf just stays in the red, stays in the corner, and Kama couldn't help him. And Kama's already out of stocks. Yeah, having to do a stock steal. Now Loaf sitting at 166. The light breeze is going to knock him out. Yeah, and oh. especially from, you know, Falco and Sinor. They can do plenty of easy kills here, but trying to just skirt their way back in this game as a red team. And, and Loaf does have that Waft. Could potentially be an equalizer here to try to win, sneak away from this game one. Yeah, Waft here is the ultimate X factor. If he can hit it, maybe get both in one go, the ties can turn. Yeah, maybe, you know, try to get this stock off this Incineroar here. Get them down to one stock. There is still a chance. But Loaf needs to live here. At 179 with a Rage Incineroar sitting right there? Oh. Yeah. But gets the dash attack. But Fox is down. Tries no! to help and he dies himself, too. Oh, that that's rough. Yeah, that's got to hurt. <laughs> yeah, that... Very very strong game one coming out from blue team there. Man, I mean, like you said, Suspect primarily known for Kazuya in singles, but he has also seen him play a lot of other characters. I want to say he has a Ness as well, maybe a Rob, but like he's definitely a player that can pick up other characters and do well, as we're seeing here with the Incineroar. And they're up game one against one of the best double teams in the Midwest in Comet World. Yeah. I mean, I would honestly, the best double team you can get in the Midwest. Comet Loaf or Loaf Lucky? <laughs> exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. I mean, I mean oh, you, can't forget, you can't forget about the Michigan boys, though. That's true. Yeah. Lin Linus and Lucy, like, the, those those guys. And that's probably maybe, maybe Dyson's aspect of a fight against them at events, where you get, you get that good practice against good double teams. Yeah. Like, in today's day and age in Ultimate, unless you're going to majors and playing doubles, there isn't too much doubles practice to be had. So that stuff definitely makes a difference. Yeah. The easiest way to harsh the vibes at a local is to walk up to the th rotation of three and be like, hey, anybody doubles? down for doubles? Yeah. Can we get some doubles going? Yeah. 
But, uh, but I mean, look at this game two, though. Complete reversal of that game one. Our team coming out really strong, already taking a stock off the suspect here. So maybe they just needed some time to settle in and get things figured out with how this team dynamic was working. Yeah, they just needed to make some adaptations. I assume the Dyson Suspect, they're a good team. Next game, I mean, like, it looks Comet low favored right now, but they'll Ooh, make the same damage. adaptations, but oh! And that's the thing, though, is, like, Dyson Suspect, two very good players, and their, their stage control and positioning is fantastic, but they don't have those, those guaranteed throw combos for a ton of damage. And we're already looking at a really strong read from Red Team here. Yeah, a one-stock lead here so far. Oh, Loaf has been doing a really good job so far of locking down the Insta. I mean, we saw him start right off the bat. Insta aggro right to uh, Suspect there, start hitting the Nair combo, start trying to get stuff in. It's really interesting to see how they're trying to neutralize the Insta as quickly as possible so those just random revenge hits just are not a factor anymore. Exactly, and you know, getting that up smash there, missing the revenge, but like, and that's the thing about like, Wario versus Incineroar. Wario kind of does everything Incineroar hates. Having that really, those combo starters in neutral that are easier to initiate. Really good aerial movement for Incineroar that he just can't chase you. So I, I like the switch here, trying to, you know, do a more favorable matchups for both players while still continuing those throw combos. It's paying off here, but all of a sudden, Blue Team's looking really good here, especially after getting that early start off of Comet. But, and yeah, and Loaf King is off too. Yeah, this is a blue team took it right back. Like I said, they'd make the adaptations. They're already fighting back. Yeah, up a, up a pretty strong stock here. Looked like a really good game for red team is now all of a sudden squarely in blue team's favor. Like wow. so many sets before, it all comes down to this waft. Can Loaf hit a waft? That's the only kind of saving grace he has right now. He needs that X Factor here right now to just take one of these guys out and make it a 1v1. Yeah, ideally you get take care of this in center off, but that up air immediately going to take it. No chance of survival there and no chance of a comeback. Yeah, dominant games here so far from Dyson Suspect. Loaf and Comet, they need they need an adaptation. They need I, some kind of switch. I think I was surprised they went back to small battlefield. I yeah. think this is a great stage for both Incineroar and Falco. Like and you, you play two really high mobility characters in Fox and Wario, why are you continuing to run it back? Go to PS2, go somewhere where you have more space. I, you know Loaf loves PS2. Oh my god, an advantage state, I swear I have never seen this man on a different state besides PS2. Oh, you're they just it keep back -to -back running it here. back. And, but so now we're sticking with the small battlefield. Questionable choice, but hopefully Common and Loaf know what they're doing. They got a game plan here to bring this one back from the brink. So otherwise, it's a hell of a loser's run they're gonna have and, to make. And like, and the other thing to keep in mind too, with these smaller stages, you're you're on a collision course, dealing with um, those alone with hitboxes a lot more. That covers a lot more of the stage. Like, you can't interrupt those, and it does a lot of damage to your teammate, even if you're not the one being grabbed. So having less space to deal with that is also a problem. Yeah, 100% agree. I mean, I've seen it before. The just lagging, like, last hit of a Lolan Whip has hit Loaf trying to come in and rescue Comet so many times here so far. Exactly, and that, that was a huge decider in that game, too. But, like, we're getting it back to what happened at the beginning of game two here. Getting that quick stock off of Falco, and they're up a pretty healthy amount. But will we see the same thing from game two where Blue Team immediately responds and wins that game? Yeah, they need to learn how to hold on to their lead right now. Yeah, we can't have any more uh, alone whips taking out stocks. You can't have these early edge guards. They need to build this lead and keep it. Yeah. Like right now, this is a difficult situation right now for Loaf. Has to get around this edge guard. Makes it back just barely. Yeah, you've got a full tank of rage on that Incineroar right now. Can't be get, letting him get any revenges here. You need to finish your plate here because you're both at very high percent as well. Yeah, if this Incin lives and gets a revenge, it, uh -oh. this one might be over. Oh, there we go. Comet already gone, but okay, the, the scary demon Incineroar is knocked down a peg. Yeah, it, but then it immediately responds. And just like that, it's looking like the same story that we saw from that game too. They're, they just, all of a sudden, they're right back in this game. Yeah, Loaf and Comet just need a full stock lead and they can't let it go. They need to put this away. Every single moment where they kind of just flounder trying to find a kill is an opportunity for Dyson Suffolk to get right back in this one. Happened last game, it could happen again this game if they don't close some of these stocks out now soon. Are they using oh that my. off though to get back? I'm not, I, I don't think know that might have been a miss in for and he wasn't sure he could make it back. That I think it's kind of bizarre. Yeah, I think he was just trying for bike and then miss input. Maybe? Probably. But yeah, what I was going to say was like, 
Oh, keep in mind with the Splute team, the Splute team just kind of craps out damage. Like, both these characters together and separately can put on so much damage so quickly, and that's why they've been able to stay so flexible in their game plan and stay in these games. And just like that, I mean, they're, they're in the lead once again. Oh, great tech there for Comet. Yeah, putting on some damage. I like that. Falco will oh. absolutely not make that back. And that's the kind of thing that can keep you in a set and hopefully get you a reverse 3-0. Goes for it again. Whoa, oh, what he, he wanted the bite. Okay, okay. All right, fellas. I don't know if we need to be doing all this. You've got three stops. Yeah. <laughs> they, they want to just go to game four already. <laughs> no, I think they just want a Twitter clip. And Comet really loves to go down for those drag down fairs and the shine. You can absolutely do it on Falco all day. Yeah. <laughs> Fox died first, and I was like, uh, was the kill streak for Fox? But no, it was also for Falco. Taking that game three, it felt like there was just a tidal wave there at the end, that all of a sudden it was just, game was well in hand and there was no chance of coming back. Yeah, they closed it out, did not give Dyson Suspect a chance to get back in that one. Hopefully maybe a change here for Loaf and Comet, but I wonder if we're going off small battlefield. I wonder if they I have- I don't know why you- Smashville, okay. Going even smaller than Small Battlefield. Which makes sense, like I said, Falco and Sonor, not a high mobility team. They were doing a really good job of holding positioning if they could get red team on ledge. So go to a stage that's even more like polarizing for ledge trapping makes sense. Yeah. So here we go, game four. Will we see more of the same with that early from red team or will blue team with the change of scenery respond differently this time? I'm, I'm thinking it might actually just end up in Red Team's favor. Even though it's not their counter pick, I feel like it might just be you're on a smaller stage. It's going to be difficult dealing with the instant. But also, you're just off small battlefield. Wolf going for the footstool on Incinero oh. off stage already. Just trying to eliminate that stock early. Okay, Loaf. I see you. Incinero trying to combo his own teammate there. Almost looked like. <laughs> but there goes Comet already. Loaf down for the count as well, misses the tag. Oh now they're down two, four socks to six early on. Already down huge with revenge on the instant too? Yeah, that, oh. they, they, okay. The, the, okay, the it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. We can take yeah. a breather, we can take a breather. Yeah, but killing his own teammate with that forward throw. Sends him absolutely flying off to the right blast zone. That's unfortunate for blue team. But yeah, getting the weak hit of that Wario up smash isn't going to take it there, but, you know, this Incineroar just continues to live. That could be the difference maker here in the set. 100%. It's Suspect's just been a X factor this entire, entire time. And now he's still alive, but okay, takes him out right, but right as soon as he gets, soon as he gets that revenge. Yeah, you could seen, not be sitting with that. Seen a bit of a different story in this game for... Blue team, the one getting off to the early lead this time, looks like they might just hold on to it, immediately taking that stock off a of Comet. He has not been able to hold on to socks this game. Or just not at all. He, he just, I don't know if it's, it's not an edge card thing. He just keeps getting boxed by the incident in the Falco, and he just, he just gets it to high percent, and then it's just, yep. what are you going to do about He's it? He's been taking some early back hairs in the corner at around 90, and that's just like, in the, the chaos that is double, sometimes you're just going to get hit by those things, and it's been the difference in this set, in this set, and like, one thing I keep in mind too about these teams is Fox and Wario kind of need setups in order to get kills, whereas Blue Team, they have many stray hits that can convert into stocks very easily. And I think that's part of it why it's been so hard for Red Team to consistently hold leads. Exactly. I mean, you just... <laughs> it is just so, so hard for them to really get anything right now. They got to work... Okay, but the up smash there takes that one out. We we're talking about how kind of difficult it is for like stray hits, but that Fox up smash, I feel like it's gonna be doing some work here. You know, putting the work, putting in the hours, taking what's ours, doing yeah. all I can. <laughs> well, we're gonna go back and take what's ours. Here in Wisconsin, even though I'm pretty sure Dyson Suspect have never been here for a Wisconsin event. They're really? gonna take back what's theirs and make their way to Grant if things keep going as they're going. Oh, but the double grab right there. <laughs> the teammate chemistry is off the charts. Yeah, always ready. Uh, just like grab infinite back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that was a fun. This but one catch. All, all of a sudden, red team slight lead here after being down a pretty good amount. But yeah, this Incineroar is absolutely dead. Great recognition there for oh, Comet. What? <laughs> the drag down. Kill screen from drag down fair. What the hell? The first hit too. 
That's what we're so crazy about. <laughs> the game knew that, like, especially because not only does the kill screen, like, like I believe it changes the, the spike, unless that's just the spike itself yeah. that lifts up the blast zone, but also the bottom blast zones on Smashville are the highest in the game out of the legal stages. So there was no chance of making yeah, that back. No shot. And now forcing the game five is Red Team trying to work on that reverse 3-0 here. They do not want to go down to losers and deal with the Sharks and Sir Dank, Raven King, and that Cypher Ice Knight team, or, you know, Kilgram yeah. and D-Money, like you said. You know, a kind of interesting thing, it's game five. We haven't seen Waft once. We saw a half waft randomly off the ledge <laughs> that didn't hit probably too. <laughs> It just hasn't really been a factor. Like, they haven't had those, they haven't found the setups. They haven't really necessarily needed them, but, like, all the games where it probably would have needed to be done, they just were in a 2v1 that didn't work out. Yeah. So maybe maybe that'll be the deciding factor in this game five. Maybe maybe he'll finally hit the one. Yeah, maybe, maybe just waiting for the right moment here. Just tickling that Falco off stage with that fair. Now they're both off stage in big trouble here. A lot going on, and Comic just kind of staring off in the distance as it unfolds. Oh, holding that jab, getting that up smash. So everyone's oh dead. My. Two star KOs back to back. I thought we were going to get a third with Loaf. Jesus. Up smashes galore, taking these stocks so far in this game five and looking like another early red team lead. But maybe this time, as they've just continued to figure out and continue to win these games, could be a different story in this game five. Are we about to see a reverse sweep, a reverse 3 0? Not if uh, Dice has anything to say about no, it. No, no. No, just that's all. We're response. holding the phone. We're holding the phone. Yeah. Michigan's saying no there. Getting those socks one at a time very quickly. But yeah, I, the one thing I noticed a lot from Loaf is he really uses that up tilt for crowd control in those boxing situations. Like, that move did get nerfed early in Ultimate, but it's still a very active, good combo starter at early percent. So it's a way to kind of pile on some quick damage in that chaos. Yeah, it's also a good way to kind of just direct the flow of traffic a little bit, because when you get hit with it, it's just pushing them up. So oh. That, oh. Okay, both Fox, both Wario and Fox have a lot of good moves when your opponent's in the air. So it's kind of just crowd controlling the opposing team exactly where you want them to just kind of start a string, get some nares, get some up airs. Yeah, speaking of crowd control, that Incineroar alone with Hitbox with Revenge doubled the damage on Red Team in the blink of an eye. Comet has been getting those like rebuttal backers off stage so much as the set has gone on, and it's been like a huge difference to this team, like to find stock. Yeah. The offstage gameplay, I'd just say, has just been better from Red Team overall. They've just been way more comfortable going off ledge. Loaf trying to get a back air, maybe just a little little F tilt. You know, just not really much. Comet just been absolutely insane off ledge. I mean, yeah. we've seen it. You've seen it. You at home have seen it. But yeah, and we're seeing those stocks go flying here. Last stock, game five. Who's gonna find their ticket to Grands here? I I find a comment to just go drop down fair on that Hudson or I'm glad he didn't. But Waff is online. Will this be the time that Waff finally plays in? Is it finally the golden opportunity? It is golden hour on Wario right now. He that is flashing gold. Unless, dear God, imagine Incineroar Revenge Waft. Oh my God. He just like jabs and <laughs> just dies there. But here, here, here's the revenge though. Yeah, still has that revenge on and that will take oh. both of those stocks. We are in a 1v1 here. And oh. there's the Waft! Kama Wolf taking that with the reverse 3-0. The Waft finally coming out. Like we've talked about over and over and over again towards the end of that set. And just like that, didn't even need the setup really. It took him five games, but finally Wario shooting into the air like a beautiful <laughs> rocket. Just hits.